Welcome back everybody. Good to see you. Today we're talking about animals, those sweet little angels that share our lives and grace our days and our evenings with so much sweetness and so much pleasure. This is my little Phoebe girl, so she's going to be uh, spending a little time with us as we talk about animals today. We're just going to be discussing a little bit about how uh, animals relate to energy and how we can better help our animals uh, understand what's going on in the world around them. First and foremost, we want to remember that animals are part of a natural world. They run at nature pace, and that's not a very fast pace. Nature pace is the pace at which uh, leaves turn color and the seasons change and day comes uh, falling into night. Uh, this is the kind of pace that that animals take when they interact with us. So when you say hello to your pet, instead of just breezing on by like you do maybe with your uh, loved ones, which is also unfortunate, spend a little time with them. My little ritual with my girl is that when I come home from a busy day and I want her to see me and truly take me in, I wait until she has sniffed my little hand to see where I've been, who I've been with, and then she'll give my hand a lick. That's how I know that she's finally taken me in. And it usually takes a minute or two even for her to really absorb the fact that we're together again. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is that when our pets are hurt, they don't obviously have the ability to communicate that to us. So so part of what we want to say to them is surprising. Instead of saying it's okay, um, an animal when they hear you say a word like it's okay uh, when they're hurting, they get confused. They want to try to tell you it's not okay and they can't. So rather than telling a, an animal who's in pain it's okay, uh, a better thing to say is I see you're hurting. And oftentimes you'll, you'll find that the animal will calm down quite a bit just by acknowledging their pain. They feel seen they feel uh, comforted, they are aware that you're not going to ask them to take a walk or to do something, be left alone at a time when they're hurting. So telling them, I see you're hurting is really important. Now, if your uh, loved one, cat, dog, lizard, uh, bird, needs to go to the hospital, it's important we let them know exactly what's happening. Tell them the condition. Hey, you've got a problem with your insides and the doctor's going to fix it for you. Or you're going to be um, getting some tests done to make sure that you're healthy and we can take as good a care of you as possible. That's really important so they understand exactly what's happening. If your animal, like my little girl, has a, a, a non-loving relationship with the vet, it's important for us to help them remember that the vet is a place of healing. The doctors there love them. They don't want to hurt them. They're not being punished. And that's an important thing for animals who have an unknown history, rescue animals, for example, um, who may have not been treated so kindly always. So letting them know that the doctors are there to help, they're not in trouble, they haven't been bad, this is a part of the healing process, all of that is so important. Uh, if they have a natural condition like they're sneezing or they're coughing um, or they're having trouble in some other way, reaffirm to them it will pass. It always does. And when my little girl has a little coughing fit, which she does quite often, I remind her it'll pass. It always does. It'll pass. It always does. And that reminds her that this isn't going to last forever. This is just for a little while. You can see she's just relaxing now into my hands. Um, we also want to take a, a little time to make sure that that uh, we remind animals, especially those who have been adopted, that if they have to go away for a while, maybe be boarded, maybe uh, be taken into a vet for observation and to stay the night, that we remind them that they will always come home to us. Uh, we always take them back into our home. We are a family. You are a part of that family. And no matter where you go, you're always coming back to us. So if you haven't lately talked to your pet, please remember they see the pictures in your mind. This is how your pet knows he's going to the vet even when you're halfway across town and you're not there yet they see the picture in your mind so they don't speak English that's correct but they do understand the energy of your words and when you give them the kind of comfort they need they will respond in spades thank you for joining us today in our talk about animals we love these little furry sweethearts they bring so much joy to our days and I hope you'll give the loved ones in your life furry feathered or otherwise a little extra love today as you remember just how special they are thanks for joining us we'll see you next time